Hi everybody, and welcome to Mike Nerichlow Online, sharing my love for people, wine, food, and all things made passionately. Okay, today's show, carrying on in our shotgun series of the Rioja. Again, quick couple recaps for you the last few episodes. If you missed it, check out in the favorite videos up here, Vina Tandoni, a super cool interview with a great guest from the Rioja. Now, the last two episodes we've covered Reserva and Gran Reserva. Tasted a couple Reservas, just went over those classifications. So a Reserva in the Rioja comes from a decent year, minimum before released, three years of aging. Now of those three years, of those three years, at least one year has to be done in oak cask. Now a Gran Reserva, five years before release from the winery, minimum two years of those aging periods has to be in oak cask. The balance of either is in bottle. Now there's another classification we'll call it in the Rioja. It's called Crianza. Now, it's what we're tasting today. Crianza is, we'll call it the infant of the three classifications. Crianza, it's minimum two years before release of your wine from the winery. And minimum of those two years, six months has to be an oak cask. So it's more of a, it's a very youthful style of wine. So we'll get right into it. We'll taste this one. $17. Cranza tends to be a cheaper wine too. Cheaper, less expensive, whatever one you call it. <clears throat> um, still can be very good value. Real has a pretty value driven area. So we've got the Glorioso. Glorioso. 2006 Rioja Crianza. That's a mouthful, hey? It doesn't just say fuzzy-tailed Shiraz or something. <laughs> so this is what we're trying to help you figure out what you're actually looking at when you see these bottles. So, again, Glorioso Rioja Crianza 2006. Hopefully you understand what that means. Let's try it out. <clears throat> 17 bucks, decent price. All right, Rioja. Tempranillo heavy, typically, as is this one. I believe this one's 100% Tempranillo. Now, you look through the glass, it's a nice, lighter colored wine. Again, not gooping over the top. I like that. All right. Okay, on the nose. Now, as I said, Crianza means kind of the infant of the different classifications. This is a very youthful style of wine. On the nose, you get, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> Very fresh, bright fruit. Bright acidity, bright fruit. A lot of like bright maraschino cherry, um, like red currants. Some neat, like ever so slight, like beets, like fresh beets or um, a radish. It's got this neat vegetal play to it too. Maybe a hint of tomato, something as well. But bright, bright acidity, bright acidic red fruits. This is what it's full of. Hmm. Yeah. Neat nose. A neat little sense of earthiness to it, too. Okay, on the palate. Youthful wine, delicious wine. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Youthful and delicious. It's very bright. It's really juicy. I like that. It's super juicy. Again, this is what the Rioja does such a good job of. Their food makes you, their food. See, I'm thinking food already. Their wine makes you want food. That's what this wine is doing. Super juicy, really nice, bright, balanced acidity. It's just, my mouth is watering because of it. Very, like I said, juicy again on the palate. A lot of that kind of cranberry, raspberry, bright red cherry, um, some currants. It's just, it's this medley of bright red berry fruit. Um, mixed with the savoriness, and the word I've used before is like brininess, but almost like this kind of ever so slightly salted flavor profile, kind of, what's the word, brine, that's what I know to put it, but just super juicy and flavorful and, I don't know, just exploding. It's a good wine. I like this one. Hmm. Yeah. Not a huge, like, depth of character, but juicy. Very juicy, very approachable. I think a lot of people would really enjoy this wine. Um, one of those wines I would give to people who are not winos yet, <laughs> who aren't wine nerding out like you or I. Um, someone who just wants to try a wine where they're going to be like, this is approachable. I can do this. It is not like over the top tannic or anything. The tannins aren't biting at my face or anything. It's juicy. It's fun. It's a playful wine. Cool. So that is a little bit about Crianza. And Crianza, again, being a youthful style of wine, this is kind of going to be the style you're looking for. 
I need some comments from you guys. I really do. <laughs> Leave me some ideas of some Riojas you've had recently. If you've tasted a Rioja recently, just write me a quick thing about it. What have you enjoyed about it? What Rioja was it? So I can go out and try it. So thank you so much for watching today. And remember, wine, this stuff, the juicy kind, deep pretentious sized. See you on the next episode.